The Brigmars were an ancient family, bankrupted a generation ago. Since then, the manor has housed two street gangs, a smuggling ring, innumerable rats, and the Brigmore witches. I'd always left them alone, but now a painter named Delilah had taken up witchcraft and formed a coven. She was trying something. A ritual. But what kind? The outsider knows. I cannot abide a mystery. I scouted, sir. They've locked the front, and I've seen evidence of snares. Also, maybe it's nothing. But I spotted several statues of the woman Delilah. I don't know what it means, but I thought it was worth mentioning. It means trouble. Anything else? They're getting in and out of the house somehow, but I haven't spotted it. Sorry, sir. Best I can do. Good enough. I'll take it from here. side because I'm not if you raise a hand to any of my sisters but Delilah you'll answer to me understood what have you got when her rituals done Emily Caldwin's mind will be gone and Delilah will look out through her eyes the rest of her life and Delilah will rule as Empress that's up to you I've got my money that's all I need wait what about a way in? Use the crypt. There's a lever that opens one of the tombs. The lever is kept in the shed. That's all I can tell you. foolish, I know, but I couldn't help myself. Never be ashamed of your ambition. It's why she chose you. Thank you. Your words are always exactly what I need, Evie. If only my birth sisters had been more like you. Well, if they had, they'd still be alive, wouldn't they? I denounce the Abbey! Wandering gaze, lying tongue, restless hands, roving feet, breath, breath, and... The seven strictures are seven lies. The high overseer is the whelp of a wolfhound bitch. The seven strictures are seven lies. Seven lies! Seven lies! Delilah, 
Yes. And then I couldn't tell she was pleased to hear the news. Perhaps she actually cared for me before. <laughs> They say Rothwell claims he fought the assassin down in his slaughterhouse. I don't think a fool like Rothwell would have seen Dow coming, much less fought him off. There must be something to the story. What did he want, you think? It's not like him to be a target of Getting old, maybe. You don't think he asked about the ship, the Delilah? What if something goes wrong? Who will help her? Doesn't it worry you? You underestimate our great lady's resourcefulness. She is not alone. Not entirely. The statues. Of course. They're more than statues. She's put her will in them. And in the void, their power is much greater. Do not fret, sweet Tilda. Lady Delilah needs you to be strong and steadfast. This is no time to wilt like a summer daisy. I won't. Forgive me, sister. You're right. many talents, Dowd, and they've served you. Delilah's talents are quite different. She creates images, but she does more. She captures spirit. She insinuates her will into her subject, whatever it is. We're witnessing her masterpiece, and perhaps yours as well. I gave you Delilah's name, and you followed it to this moment. You see now what hangs in the balance. Emily's life, Delilah's ambition, an empire in the act of crumbling. In your long life, I've rarely seen you act with such consummate grace. I give my mark sparingly, and I don't play favorites. But I will watch this with unusual attention.
daughter of Jessamine Caldwin, heir to the Empire of the Isles, I call out to you from the void. My reach too long. Brush touches paint. Brush touches canvas. Brush touches void. And now I see you, Emily Caldwell. I breathe your breath. I can feel what you are. I feel the cold night air of the room where you sleep. And the stink of the air. In the streets of the world, I touch his mind. And your lost mother, for your caretaker, Callista. I feel your fear in the night, your hunger to learn, to become someone important. My hunger too. My fear. You are becoming mine. You're nearly finished. Close your eyes, Emily. Sleep forever. Feel the void open beneath you. Make room for me! Give in to me, Emily! Give in to me now! Hate flows. Blood flows. Life goes. Out with the old, in with the new. You've lived in these bones long enough, sweet young girl. It is complete. I am... What? What's happening? This is all wrong! What am I becoming? Outsider's blood! Is this some trick? No! No one will ever know exactly what it took to save Emily Caldwin from a living death as Delilah's puppet. No one except the outsider, who watches everything and thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. I've learned that our choices always matter. To someone. Somewhere. And sooner or later, in ways we can't always fathom, the consequences come back to us. I came from Sirkonos to Dunwall as a boy, made my living as a killer, one of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress, but saved her daughter, who will one day rule the Empire. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes. Life is 
life in your hands. Make your choice. You make an eloquent plea for a man with innocent blood on his hands. It's a shame Corvo doesn't know the real story, isn't it? How in these last days you passed through Coldridge Prison like a shadow, dared the tangles of Dunwall's underworld, and walked out unscathed, outwitted one of the greatest witches in a generation, all with consummate care and skill. How you saved Emily Caldwin, daughter of the Empress, first of her name, and no one will ever know. But how does it end for Dowd, the hired killer, the murderer, the savior of the Empire? It's up to Corvo now.